Hey everyone, it is Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. It's a new weekend. A lot of recruits in town for basketball. We'll see what happens. Football too, by the way. Hey, if you're not subscribing to our YouTube channel, please do. I haven't reminded you in a while. It really helps out the algorithm and reaches more and more K-State fans. It's kind of weird how it works. It works so well, but please do that. Speaking of subscriptions, our subscribers at GoPowerCat.com just enjoyed a nice little breakdown of the top six current remaining candidates for the K-State basketball openings. They have six openings, so they could take all six if they got that fortunate. But we'll see what happens. They may not fill all their scholarships, and they might find more guys later down the road as they begin to sift all the way through the transfer portal. The big guy, the most significant player in the portal with serious interest in K-State right now is Detroit guard Antoine Davis, and this kid can fill it up. In his career at Detroit Mercy, he has averaged 24.6 points a game. He averaged right at 24 last year. He's the all-time leading scorer at the school and plays for his dad, Coach Mike Davis. He used to be at Indiana, and now he's at Detroit. He really, really loved his K-State visit. And if I had to guess just based on visits, I would say he will commit to Kansas State on Monday. He tweeted out at the end of the week that Monday would be his decision day. But he spelled it with a capital M and a capital D, which might mean Maryland, which is one of his choices. He's down to K-State, Maryland, Georgetown, BYU, or possibly going back to Detroit. Why would he go back to, De to Detroit? That's kind of hard to say. To Detroit, it's because he didn't get the right NIL deal. That's right. It's probably going to come down to an NIL, a name, image, and likeness deal that this star can receive. Is K-State in the running? Can K-State offer that? Is one of the collectives or an individual out there acting as a collective ready to step into the breach and land a significant player just like Miami did with Nigel Pack? I don't know if $400,000 is realistic, but that's kind of the ballpark he wants to be in, if not more. This is going to be a huge test for Coach Jerome Tang's new program and its ability to reach out through the NIL, which, because of the screwed up NCAA rules, can't be actually associated with the coaching staff. Stay tuned at Go Power Cat on Monday for Mr. Davis's selection. It would be huge for the program for next year because he's a one and done, but we'll see what he has in store. If he's in purple, folks, basketball could be a lot of fun starting next season.